Okay, hello, welcome back. I haven't posted in ages, but here we are. So today I am going to film and show you my TBR for the Owl's Magical Readathon. This readathon is hosted by G from Book Roast and she's just amazing. The Owl's Magical Readathon and the Newt's Magical Readathon is based on the Owl's and Newt examination from the Harry Potter series. And you take the subject and you put a prank on it, and it's just really amazing. I participated last year and I thoroughly failed, but I am trying again this year. There are. Ignore him. Just ignore him. Wizarding careers, which all sound super cool, but I have picked one that I want to do, and that is Mage of Visual Arts. And the key traits for this career is imagination, stubbornness, creativity, and patience. And get to get this career, I need to finish four hours: astronomy, charms, divination, and mystery of magic. And you can also pick seminars to participate in. And I have picked one seminar, and that is Legal Defense of Fantastic Bee Seminar. And for that, you need to complete owls in Calf Magical Creatures and A History of Magic, which doubles up with my career with the History of Magic prompt. I have picked books for each and every subject for this readathon, and I'm in no way shameful I'm going to finish 12 books in one month. But I am really excited for all of these books and I just can't wait to read them. So let's get into this TBR. First subject I need to complete for my career is astronomy and the prompt for that is to read the majority of the book After Dark. And for that I am going to read Escape from Lucian which is the sixth book in the Agnes series by Kazu Kibuchi. I have enjoyed every volume in this graphic novel series. It's middle read and it's a quick read and I'm super excited. The next class I need to complete is Charms and the prompt for that is to read a book with a white cover and for that I'm going to listen to the audiobook of The One by Kara Kaz, which is the third book in the selection series. I have enjoyed the series so far and I know how things are going to end because obviously but I'm just excited to see what happens in the last book in the series or the third book because there are two more books in the series now. Next class I need to complete is divination and for divination you are supposed to the random number generate from a TBR and I did that with my script TBR and the book that came out is The Silver Chair by C.S. Lewis which is the sixth or fifth book in the Chronicles of Narnia. I have been rereading these books on audio and that is the book that I am up to. The last class that I need to complete for my career is the history of magic and for that the prompt is to read a book with witches or wizards. And I am reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the Hufflepuff editions, which I am annotating. For Legal Defense of Tacit B Seminar, I need to complete history of magic, which I'll be reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for. The other class I have to complete for the Seminar of Legal Defense of Fantastic Beast is Care of Magical Creatures and the prompt for that is to read a book with a creature with a beak on the cover. I have the Masterful Crow put down for this but I am thinking of switching it out to The Raven Boys because I know I own that book, I just don't know where it is. And I'm semi-interested in that. 
I'm more interested in that than I am in The Master of the Crow. That was all of the pro books I need to complete for my career and my seminar. If I want to read more, I have put on books for the other prompts. First subject being Eight Runes, and the prompt for that is Heart on the cover or in the title. For that, I'm going to be reading P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Next class is Arithmancy, which is the prompt to read a book outside of your favorite genre. My favorite genre is like magical contemporaries and thrillers. I'm going to be reading a horror graphic novel, which is Through the Woods. I can't remember where I put that book. I will be reading it when I can't find it. I think it is in the bedroom. But the bedroom is messy and I don't want to deal with that. Next up is Defense Against the Dark Arts and the prompt for that is to read a book set at the sea or the coast. For that I'm going to be reading Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephen Parkins. This is set in San Francisco which is at the coast. I read Anna and the French Kiss and thought that it was okay, it was really enjoyable. So I want to continue with the series. Next up is Herbology and the prompt for that is to read a book that starts with an M. And for that I'm going to be reading Milk and Honey by Rupi Kapoor. Rupi Kaur? Rupi Kaur? I don't know. And I read Milk and Honey. No, I didn't read Milk and Honey. That's what I'm going to read. I read The Sun and the Flowers by her and I absolutely loved it, I flew through it, it was such a beautiful book, it was such beautiful poetry, so I am really excited to be reading this one. Next up we have Muggle Studies and for that the prompt is to read a contemporary and for that I'm going to be listening to Yes No Maybe So Rebecca Batali and Aisha Said, I believe it is. I am bad at remembering names. This is one of my most anticipated releases of the year. Next up we have Potions, where the prompt is to read a book under 150 pages. And for that, I am going to be reading Paper Girls Volume 1 by Brian Carbana. I've had this graphic novel for quite some time now and I am super excited to see what it's all about. The last subject and last prompt is transfiguration and the prompt for that is a book that includes shapeshifting and for that I am going to be reading City of Fallen Angels. I have already started this but I've lost my bookmark so I need to figure out where the hell I am in this book and yeah, I'm just gonna finish it and I'm really, I've been reading it for some time. It's actually my second time reading this book and it's probably my least favorite in the series. I haven't even completed the series. But I forgot that I read this and it was on my TBR shelf, so yeah. Reading this. So there you have it. This is my TBR plus some audiobooks and some books that I don't know where are. I'm Thoroughly excited to read all of these books and hopefully I can get to as many of them as possible. I am planning on doing weekly reading vlogs for this readathon and if you want to watch that please subscribe to my channel, it will mean the world to me. And yeah, I'll have my Twitter, Instagram and Goodreads linked down below if you want to follow me and just see what I'm up to. Which you probably won't because I'm the least interesting person ever but yeah that's it for this video I really hope that you enjoyed it tell me if you are participating what book I most decided to read what career are you going for and all of that fun stuff that's it for today and I'll see you again very very soon with another video bye